Boom, 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 boom. And welcome back to Avid versus Premiere. So recently I created my first finished project in Avid. It's a 30 second teaser trailer. Not too difficult to put together, but I actually spent more time problem solving than I did doing actual editing. You see, I'm one of those editors who puts their maybe clips on the back end while editing when I'm uncertain about using them or not. Now I can already see some of you editors jumping in right here and saying, mm, that's your first mistake. You see, I'm what they call a gap man. I make gaps, then I delete. Anyways, since I'm using Avid first, the free version of Avid that the company was wise to release, it doesn't let me set in and out points for my exports, so I had to delete my maybe clips. But after deleting the maybe clips, I saw that the gaps I had made to separate my working area from my maybe clips was still there. And I could actually move them? I set in and out points on my timeline? Nothing. I pressed the delete key? Nothing. I spent like 30 minutes scouring across the Google and most people said to just copy and paste my project to a new timeline, which I thought was stupid because Avid selection tool is pure ass. So what I had to do was truly, what's the word I'm looking for? Donkey brained. I had to select in and out points around the empty space and then press X. I still don't really understand why this is happening, but I can only assume that because Avid has a closed timeline, it actually treats empty space as actual clips. So I guess we all learned something today. See you next time.